As far as operations with imaginary numbers, a really typical one is like this. They'll give you two binomials like 2 minus 3i times, you know, whatever, 1 plus 2i. And they want you to FOIL. And now there's an earlier video on FOILing, so you probably already know how to FOIL. But basically, this is weird because you're FOILing with, you know, the imaginary number i. So here's what you do. Following the standard format, there's only one curveball in these. First times first. Remember, here's your FOIL, right? First times first. Two times one is two. No big deal so far. <clears throat> outside times outside. 2i times 2. You just multiply them kind of like this was a variable like x. So 2i times 2 would just be 4i. Inside times inside. Negative 3i times 1 is just negative 3i. And then here's where the curveball comes in. This is the weird part. Remember, negative 3i times 2i is actually negative 6i squared. The i's do multiply. So you have negative 3 times 2, which is obviously negative 6. And then you have the i times the i, so that's i squared. This gets super weird right here. This stuff's all straightforward. You're like, okay, this is easy. 4i minus 3i is just 1i. But then you have this mysterious guy at the end. Remember, if you remember from an earlier video, i squared is the equivalent of negative 1. So immediately, I could substitute this out for negative 6 times negative 1. Right? And that's what you have to do every time with these operations with i's. So now we have negative 6 times negative 1 is obviously plus 6. That happens there. And then adding like terms, you can add the 2 and the 6, and then you have 8 plus i. So as long as you remember really that i squared <coughs> is the same as negative 1, these operations with imaginary numbers aren't that difficult. And also you do have to know how to FOIL. I did it here. I kind of did it sort of quickly so you could watch another video on FOILing if you're really unclear on that. And that's it. That's operations with uh, imaginary numbers. Of course, there's more, but this is a common one. And remember, if you're struggling in Algebra 2 at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.